Hello, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday. It is Friday, so it is weigh-in day. We're gonna talk all about this week. I traveled again this week, so we're gonna talk about travel and weight gain, set some goals for next week, talk about this week's WW workshop topic, and of course, my weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a weigh-in every Friday, and I upload five videos per week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros macros and calories. I cannot recommend this enough. It is so important and it has been the catalyst of my 130 pound weight loss. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in and the WW workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an absolutely incredible week. I had a great week. I had a busy week. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I traveled again. This last weekend, I actually went to Phoenix, Arizona for a meetup with my subscribers. Now, if you're not in my Facebook group, come join us because this is where I post a lot of these fun, exciting events and things. And I had posted back in August that I wanted to do a meetup in Phoenix. It's about a two hour drive for, for me, but I thought that it would be fun for anyone who hasn't been to Arizona to kind of get a glimpse into the Arizona state and how beautiful it is here. This isn't just tumbleweeds in the desert. It is so beautiful beautiful here. So we planned for a meetup. Unfortunately, a few of the ladies who were going to fly in for the meetup that fell through one of them based on the hurricane, one of them based on some health issues, but we ended up having four people at the meetup and it was so much fun. I will go ahead and pop up a few pictures here. I put a whole bunch in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day and talked a little bit more about the meetup there. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below for you, but it was amazing. We had so much fun. It was so nice to put a face with a name and really establish a solid friendship. I feel like the five of us will be friends for life. Thank you again to Susan, Lois, Robin, and Lorraine who came for the meetup. I love you guys. It was so much fun and I cannot wait for the next one. Yes, there will be a next one. We are thinking about doing our next meetup in San Diego, California. So make sure that you're in my Facebook group so you don't miss the posting. But with the meetup came travel and we went to Crumble Cookies and we went out to eat for most of our meals. We went shopping, we got a lot of steps in, we took a walk, we did a lot of really fun things, but we know when we travel, we have less control over our food choices. So sometimes it makes it a little bit harder to stay on track. And we had Crumble Cookies, so. There's that. Now I did pack snacks. I did pack my protein shake so that I could have my protein coffee each day. Overall, I feel like considering everything, I made good food choices. I made my healthy swaps that I always make at the meals, taking the bun off my burger so I could eat the fries or just eating the inside of my sandwich and skipping the bread so that I could have the French fries. I feel like I made some really good choices. And I felt like I was able to move my body, even if it was an intentional exercise, just walking around lots and lots and lots of shopping was really beneficial for exercise. When I got home Sunday night, right back on track, right back to my normal eating starting on Monday, hit up boot camp Monday morning, did boot camp three days this week, got to the gym a couple days, took my walks, did all of my normal routine, including getting my water in. I really wanted to focus on upping my water to flush out all the crumble cookies and the things I ate during my vacation. That's really the key takeaway. When you go on holiday, when you go out of town, when you're out of your normal routine and normal element, it's so important when you get home, just get back on track. The next day, even that same day, if you're home in the morning, girl, get back on track so that you can get back to your normal routine and back to your normal weight loss. And it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy your vacation or your holiday. You just have to make sure when you return home that you're back on track. That is really the key to continued weight loss success. Speaking of weight loss, before we jump into my weigh-in, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic, and that is how to hack your points budget. Think about this. 
it's Sunday night, you're getting ready for the next week, and all of a sudden you have the revelation that, oh my gosh, I have a ton of events planned this next week. Happy hour with your best friend, pizza at work, and a neighbor's birthday party. There is absolutely no way you're staying on track this next week. Not so fast. There are some tips and tricks from WW on how to actually stay on track and hack your points budget to earn back just a few more points for those special occasions. Think about which meal or meals, foods or events matter most to you this week. Do you live for Sunday brunch? Do you have a birthday or a night out planned? Then visualize your plate. What do you want on it and how much? Next, pre-track those foods and drinks. How many points did you use? How many dailies and weeklies are left? And then sketch out the rest of your week based on that. Where and how will you allot your remaining points? This way you're planning ahead a little bit. You may not know exactly what's being served at the party or the event, but you can pre-track track everything you know that you're eating that day. And that way it's kind of like a checking account. You have this balance and then what's left of that balance for you to consume. Want even more flexibility and points to play with? Lean on zero point foods and low point recipes. Add points by moving more, eating non-starchy vegetables, and drinking at least 60 ounces of water. Use your weeklies and rollovers. Up to four unused daily points are automatically deposited into your weekly bank. Use your weeklies. Use your rollovers. WW is a business. They would not give us weekly points and rollovers if it stunted our weight loss because then we would stop going to WW and paying them for their service. So think about that for a second. If we weren't supposed to use our weekly points, we wouldn't be given them. Weekly points are for flexibility and lifestyle and life happens. Events, parties, maybe you have something going on every week. Utilize your weeklies for that. Eat every single one of them. It's not going to stunt your weight loss. Don't get in the habit of skipping out on life and skipping out on events because you're on a weight loss journey. Whether it be WW or counting macros and calories, you still need to live your life. And whatever you're doing to lose weight should offer that flexibility. If you're on WW, your weekly points and your rollovers and the points you earn back, that's your flexibility. If you're on calories and macros, the fact that you can go over one to 200 calories every day, that's the flexibility. Don't miss out on life because you're trying to lose weight. I spent so long skipping events and only planning events on my cheat day, which was Saturday, instead of just living my life. Now, if I have a party every day of the week, I'm there and I'm going to make it work and I'm going to still continue to lose weight in the process. This journey isn't sustainable if it's not livable. So make sure that whatever you're doing to lose weight, you can do when you maintain your weight and you're not missing out on life. Just use these tips and tricks from WW on how to have events every day of the week if that's what your life involves. Living your life and still losing weight, that's the key to success and long-term sustainable success. So I really like this topic because like I said, I was in the mindset of I could only do things on Saturdays on my cheat day, when in reality, I can make it work any day of the week. And both WW and Counting Calories and Macros offers that flexibility, so utilize it so you can have a happy life even when you're losing weight. Speaking of losing weight, let's jump into my weigh-in. Like I said, I ate all the things on my trip, in moderation, of course, in moderation. And then when I got back Sunday afternoon, right back on track, I had a healthy dinner Sunday night. And then, like I said, Monday, back to my working out, back to my regular eating, drinking my water. And when I stepped on the scale today, I had a loss three vacations in a row, three losses in a row. And when I stepped on the scale, I am down 0.8 pounds. So almost down an entire pound after my third vacation in a row. It's just more proof that you can enjoy life and continue to lose weight, that you don't have to stop going to events and stop living your life because you're trying to shed some pounds. Just make healthy choices, make healthy swaps, get back on track when you return home, and I promise you the scale will continue to be your friend, even if you're out parting it up and living your best life every day of the week. So I'm proud of myself for continuing to lose weight with all of my trips. Now, lucky for me, I don't have any other trips coming up until the beginning of December. I do have a friend coming in from Australia for Thanksgiving, so that may put a little bit of a wrench into things, but I'm actually not traveling again until the beginning of December. So I'm really going to focus on staying on track and continuing to lose weight 
even through the holiday season. These are the hardest three months of the year. Starting with Halloween, we have Halloween candy, then we have Thanksgiving, then we have Christmas, then we have New Year's. This is the plethora of weight gain. So we wanna make sure that what that we're continuing to hit our health goals even through the holidays, but still enjoying the holidays and still living, honestly, our best life. Now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? What do you think about this week's WW workshop topic? And are you somebody that structures what you can do socially around your diet or do you just live life regardless? Let us know down in the comments, leave your tips and tricks. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a weigh-in every Friday in five videos per week. And don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend having your macros and calories done as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't don't forget, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group so you don't miss the next meetup. And that's where you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. I hope you have an amazing weekend and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.